Have you ever wanted to have superpowers, like invisibility? Well, scientists are studying different kinds of nanotechnology to make it possible. Nanotechnology is a field that studies the unusual properties of teeny tiny objects to invent new things. Hi, my name is Chaitanya Olal. I'm a materials engineer and I'm a nanotechnologist. In my lab, what we do is we create new nanomaterials and we play with light, actually. Sometimes we play with laser light to create and study uh, polymer nanomaterials. Wow! The nanomaterials that Chaitanya develops are called metamaterials. A metamaterial is made from teeny tiny nano-sized particles that can change the way the objects interact with light. Some metamaterials can be found in nature. The reason butterfly wings and iridescent beetles are so colorful and shiny is because they have metamaterials. But how do these metamaterials get their unusual properties? First, let's understand light. When light goes through something, it bends. Some materials like glass and air bend light only a little bit, so it looks like light goes straight through them. Other materials like water bend light a lot. When you put your finger in a glass of water, it looks like your finger is in a different place than it really is. When light bends, it's called refraction. And this doesn't just happen with water. Light will bend when it goes through all different things. So how can a metamaterial bend light to make things invisible? First, let's think of a metamaterial made up of tiny nanoparticles arranged in an ordered pattern. Because you have arranged things in a particular way, you get a new and unexpected property. We try to bend light in particular ways. So if you take a transparent object, usually light only bends when it enters or leaves the object. But if you control the way that you distribute small transparent objects, then you can control the way that light bends or moves through these objects. Each of these tiny nanoparticles refract light and change the way light moves in a metamaterial. By arranging them in a pattern, Chaitanya can control the way the nanoparticles work together to refract light. He can even arrange them so the metamaterial can bend light around objects. If light can bend as it passes through a metamaterial, then light could bend around an object covered by the metamaterial. It would be invisible to the eye. In the design challenge, the thing that you're trying to do is you're trying to protect a house of cards. So you have a wave coming in, and you want to control the way the wave moves and flows around the house so that it doesn't affect the house. You are creating an ordered metamaterial to get a wave of water to move around a house of cards so the house doesn't fall over. This is just like how Chaitanya creates metamaterials that can make light waves bend around an object to make them invisible. We do the same thing with light, except that we're not trying to protect a house of cards, but we're trying to move and mold the way that light flows in a material. In this design challenge, you'll create an ordered object that can make waves move around a house of cards so the cards don't fall over. Are you ready to make your own metamaterial? Check out the activity on the Curiosity Machine.